Hi, this is Dr. Johnny Bowden, author of The Most Effective Natural Cures on Earth. Today I'm going to talk about a supplement called chromium. So what does chromium do anyway? Well, it's kind of like insulin's little helper. What does that mean? Whenever you eat food, your blood sugar goes up. Hopefully, slightly and gently, but very often, given the way we eat, it goes up very quickly and it stays up very high. That's not a situation you want. What happens when you do that is your pancreas comes into action, goes, uh-oh, the dude ate a bunch of ding-dongs, and it starts to secrete a hormone called insulin. Insulin's an important hormone. You can't live without it. However, you don't want elevated levels of insulin all the time. It prevents fat burning. Uh, it causes high blood pressure. It does a lot of things that you don't want. So you now you've got all this insulin, and the job of insulin is to get that blood sugar back down to normal and to take it into the cells. Well, chromium helps it do that better. Chromium basically kind of potentiates the cell's interaction with insulin and sugar. It kind of opens up the doors a little bit, makes it a little bit, the process go a little bit more smoothly. So chromium helps insulin do its job. This is very important because it helps to lower your blood sugar and to lower your insulin and bring everything back down to normal. So if you've got blood sugar problems and a large percentage, double digit percentage of the population does, a thousand micrograms a day of chromium may help. That's what's been used in the studies. Now there's no research on what I'm about to tell you but one of the icons in alternative medicine, Dr. Jonathan Wright, uses even higher doses to help tame sugar cravings. Because part of what sugar cravings are, of course, is that big blood sugar roller coaster we talked about. So if you can even that out in any way, and chromium may help, you may see some benefit as far as carb cravings go. Now, regardless, we don't get enough chromium in the diet, and it does help carb metabolism on some level. There are different kinds of chromium. Chromium picolinate, as I said earlier, is the most studied. Other kinds work also. There's chromium arginate, chromium polynicotinate, they all work. Um, the one I'm not crazy about is the GTF chromium, but I like the other kinds. You don't absorb very much anyway, and there's almost no downside to taking a little bit more. For most people, 200 micrograms a day is probably a good dose to have if you just got no metabolic problems whatsoever, and if you do lean towards having problems with carbs, with sugar, with uh, insulin, which you can usually tell if you have a, a waist that is kind of an apple shape with a lot of fat around the middle, probably got an insulin issue there, chromium may help. And you can safely take it 800, 1,000 micrograms a day. Oh, and by the way, this is not the same chromium that was in the Erin Brockovich movie. That's a completely different type of, of chromium. It's hexavalent, that's a very dangerous kind. This is not, this is the trivalent, it's safe, it's completely different. You're not gonna get poisoned by it. It's a very safe mineral to take as a supplement. This is Dr. Johnny Bowden for Eat, Drink, or Die. Sign up for my free video series, Seven Nutrition Lies That Are Making You Sick and Fat, at johnnybowden.com.